everybody. Welcome back to Cooking It Real. I'm Kathy, and today I have a very special guest. Um, we're going to be making kimchi, and I'd like to welcome my guest right now. <laughs> Say hi. 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 <laughs> this is my handsome son-in-law, Caleb. Say hi, Caleb. Hello. And today we're going to be making Caleb's version of kimchi. Um, it's a vegan kimchi. It is absolutely delicious. He gifted some to me at Christmas time, and I have been dying to get some more. So I have wrangled him into my kitchen once again and told him, we're going to make the kimchi. All right, let's do it. Then. All right, let's do it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> kimchi is a fermented vegetable dish that is very popular in uh, Southeast Asia. We will use what we have right here, which is a Napa cabbage that has been cut into small pieces, not tiny pieces, but good sized pieces. and um, salted uh, and rinsed. We also are going to add to this cabbage to make it authentic. We're gonna add radish. We have two kinds of radish here. This is a section of a daikon radish, which is a Japanese radish. Uh, generally, they're like very long and they, you have to peel them. And they have a, a texture sort of like an apple. They're not as spicy, in my opinion, as these red, shall we say, American radishes or just the European sure. radishes, just radish radishes. Um, but we're going to probably use a combination of both. Yeah. Uh, also, we're going to add, we're going to add onion. I got some red onion here. We got green onion or scallion, as they might be called. Of course, you can't do uh, many... Asian dishes without fresh ginger. We have a bunch of that. And we got garlic, which I have generously peeled for Caleb because he's not that fond of peeling garlic. It's not his favorite thing. Anyway, those are the veggies. And there are probably others that you can add, but this is what we're going to do for today. But the, the big uh, gun, if you will, in kimchi comes from these folks right here. Um, this is gochujang which is a Korean uh, red pepper paste. Uh, it also has rice in it. The ingredients are, nope, it doesn't have rice. Forget I said that. <laughs> anyway, it has, a... what did I say? Red pepper. Oh yeah, red pepper. Red pepper. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is uh, miso. Uh, this is basically fermented soybeans and rice. And that's going to, give it some awesome flavor and some awesome body. And then we have gochukaru, <clears throat> which is Korean red pepper flakes. These are super hot and very delicious. And we're gonna, we're just gonna kind of mix it all up and see what we get, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, one uh, key traditional ingredient that we are missing today is fish paste. Right which we are leaving out, it, it adds that full bodied, full mouth umami flavor that everybody goes for. So that's why we're, we're, we're going to lean heavy on the miso for that, but that will um, help us make it vegan friendly for Brian and Melanie. <laughs> yeah. we're... Who's Brian and Melanie? <laughs> well, I'm so glad you asked. As this is my handsome son-in-law, Brian is my handsome son and his lovely wife, Melanie. And um, they live in Dallas, Texas, and they love Caleb's cooking as much as, as I do. Um, so anyway, shall we get going? Yeah. All right, I let's think do we it. should do that. All right. You can be garlic, and I will peel this. All right, we're doing prep. 
Yep. And whatever is like okay. left over, I'm just gonna we can prep it all, but we don't have to use it all. Right. Because we're cooking it real. Cooking it real. <laughs> you should write us a theme real song. Real at Kathy's. At my house. That was the first thing I thought of was a, a theme song. I know you said that. I didn't know if you wanted to go like old school, like pick a style. Like how do you want to? Ooh, good question. Like we could do like a, like the first thing I thought of was doing like a Ramones ripoff. Yeah. Well, we can't, you know, if you write something original and you play it and sing it, yeah. then we can use it. But if it has to be, you know, with somebody's um, copyrights, that's not going to work. Well, I, I know that. But I mean, you know, not like a, not like a straight. <clears throat> not like a total ripoff. <laughs> not a total ripoff, but just like. You know, something that sounds like, I'm just saying, would you want something, something like. Something sounds wicked cool. Something that like late 70s, early 80s punk sound. Yeah. Do you want like a. That'd be cool. Acoustic ballad. We're at Kathy's and we're cooking it real. <laughs> oh gosh. Feeling garlic with a spoon. <laughs> The way professionals do. And then Stephanie tinkle tinkle the ivories a little bit. Just yeah. she blasts us with her trumpet. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got all kinds of talented family members. We can get them all in on it. Yeah. At least we know some people. Let's start a band. Ooh, yeah. It'd be like a side. A side gig. Yeah, forget this. Let's start a band. <laughs> you know, I already washed. That was a good thing because I didn't wash any of it. I know. I did that in advance. For just a yolk. That's considered. Thank you. That's very nice. Yeah, radishes always make the crew day flatter. Yeah. I think it's only me and you that eat them, though, right? I don't know. Well, I don't Except mean in the world, but I know that when <laughs> I've had... <laughs> I I made them. crudite platters, and um, nobody you know. here eats them. Seventy, I definitely eat them. Good. I mean, my Who mom said that? <laughs> that voice did again? you hear something? I thought I did, but it sounded cute. It sounded kind of disembodied. Hey, you know y'all got these bones up here? Yeah. Ginger. Ginger or Mary Ann? Definitely Mary Ann. Oh, yeah? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How big a jar are we filling? I got, oh, let me show you. <laughs> that'll, that'll help. I got quart jars, okay? okay? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might be able to fill four of them. What? Yeah. You I'm hoping. Start peeling garlic. More, more garlic. I don't think you have that much cabbage. Okay. Now 
it's time to make the sauce that is going to go onto the cabbage and the vegetables and Just turn it. Just those. Should I? <laughs> What's, what works? I don't know. I'm just standing here like a goober while she's talking. Oh, do you want to do the talking? Not really. Okay, then. You what's, just stand uh, there like a goober then. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I got to know what to, what to do with my hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hold this. All there right. we go. That's good. We're going to use to the goju chang and the miso and the goju kar. All right. Go for it. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's something. <laughs> I'm looking at the quantity of vegetables and the amount of this and that that we're going to use. We're going to need another spoon for that. Okay. Separate, clean. Smart. Yeah, look at me. That's a pro tip right there. Yeah. Luckily, I am a woman of many spoons. Well, I don't know. What, what would you say that was? Miso. <laughs> what would you say it was? The amount. Oh, um. What do you think I put in there? It was about that much. I'd say that's about a, a, a quarter to third? a third of a cup. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to start with. That looks good already. Put a little water to loosen this up. Okay. Go for it. Shake a shake up. Get your hands dirty. How about? What sure. do you think? Now you're going to need some tasty spoons. Mm. I have many spoons. <laughs> you keep bragging about your spoons. <laughs> Stirring technique. One hand behind his back. That's it. There, I have yours. <laughs> Nothing on it. That's delicious. <laughs> that is perfect. You nailed it. First try. Yeah, you think? Actually, I mean, this is going to taste pretty strong. Good. Yeah. I think with the ginger and, and garlic and everything, yeah. I think that'd be perfect. Maybe a little more water. Oh, just a little bit. Sure. Just to make it just a, like, that's enough. Huh? <laughs> that's good heat. That's good heat. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> We'll leave this here in case we need to make more. Yeah, you gotta juice it up sometimes. Sometimes. You can keep add, adding. Keep adding water, but you can't take it out. <laughs> you can add water, you can add the juice. Okay, and as I walk out of <laughs> the shot. Okay, so you're ready to start uh, putting the veggies together? Yeah, I think so. Get the big, we gotta rinse this, don't we? Yeah, rinse it. All right. Drain get, it. Get the salt it, off. Shake it. Let's give it one more. Dance Toss. with it. Ooh, salty. Tastes like sweat and tears. We'll taste it. Hey, it'll work. It'll work. It'd be up to your judgment how much of each of these things we're going to use. Put it all in! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like we were almost at 50 50 here like yeah volume, volume wise. wise yeah so let's do it yeah all right we'll hit it there you go we're just we're doing everyone it. everyone in the pool we're cooking it real cooking it real you gotta remember to say that yes the show i know no. where's that spoon you all right the big one i thought you were gonna use your hands she said that. I never said that. Oh. Are we kimchi yet? Not yet. This has to ferment for how long? Hey. I know it, it, it goes faster if you don't refrigerate it. Right. I'm in a hurry, so I'm going to leave it out for a couple of days. Let's see what we get. Let's see. I don't think that I... Let's see. I refrigerated it. Right from the get-go? Yep. And it was pretty good within a couple of days oh really yeah okay well hopefully we'll have four jars and i can like leave one of them out and yeah. put the rest in the fridge and we'll sure. see we'll have like a what experiment 
Oh, that looks good already. That's kimchi, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at see. Let me get some more of this. Get all of it in there. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Kimchi in it real. Oh my gosh, that looks that gorgeous. So good. It does. Almost. There you go. Now it's kimchi. <laughs> now it's kimchi. Well, you're yes. going to put it in with your hands. I, tongs. hands, tongs, because you got to pack it down in there. Okay. I mean, a funnel might help just to keep it a little more clean, but you still got to use your hands. All right, let's fill these jars, Caleb. I'm feeling optimistic. I think we can get four. And we're back. <laughs> Mother Magoo. You think we can pack four of these? I think so. Let's I do. do. It. Oh, I'll um, do it. Yeah, you can do it. All right, you think we can do one more quart, or do you We need can a... give it a shot, by God. Load her up. Funnel. Nah, too late now. Look at you. Too late now. We're riding a bear back this time. It's truly real. Realer than real. Will it jar? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got her baton to smash them in there. That's for the kimchi, right? Yes. <laughs> they do have, um, you know... What do I want to say? Legitimate tools for like pounding sauerkraut and things like that. Packing your mm -hmm. pickles. I thought this was a family show. <laughs> Get your pickle smacker and your burping nipples. <laughs> Demon attack! <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Pickle pounders. Pickle pounders, yep. Kraut smashers. Nipple burpers. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. I this told you we'd get really it exactly day. perfect. Yep. Good. That is how we do it on keeping it, cooking it. Keeping it. <clears throat> we're keeping it and we're cooking it and all of it's real. Cooking it hot. Cooking Excellent. it cold. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah. Look at Look at that. Whoa. Now, do we, we want to get enough juice in there? As much juice as we can, so everything goes sits under the juice, right? Right, that's what the water's for. We'll top it off with the water, and then. Oh, do you want to put my um, fermentation weights in it? Uh, let's get some water on it first. I feel like those would go in last. They don't really float, you know. No, the but, weights don't float. No. Oh, the pieces, you mean? Yeah. Okay. But, so if you put uh, we, the water up high enough, then every, yeah, everything's we'll cover cool. it with water. I mean, kind of top it off like that. Then you have to come all the way up just to cover the vegetables. Should be good. Like that. Awesome. What do you think? I think it's cool, but I think we got floaters. Well, as we can use the weights. I love these weights. She's dying to use the weights. I love them. They're so cool. Well, Look at these. Talk about your weights. These are fermentation weights, and they weigh not a lot. Oh, like a pound <laughs> each. Yeah. And uh, oh, they have yeah. this little cool um, thing in the middle, so you can lift them out easily. And then there's a little reservoir, so you put them in, and the liquid fills up, and everything else stays down. See that? Woohoo! It's almost like they were made for this. It's almost like it, isn't it? See, look at that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And now you don't have to worry. Oh, see, a couple little escapees. Now, if you were 
um, fermenting something for a really long time, you'd want to spoon those out mm -hmm. because they could get contaminated. Now, Caleb, these are called... Burp nips. Nope. <laughs> They're called pickle pipes. And they have a little... Stephanie, I don't know if you can get in here and see this. They have a little uh, X in the center of their thing family that show. lets the... Family show. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, they have a little X that lets the carbon dioxide out. So you just place it on the top and secure it with a canning ring. And bada boom, bada bang, you're ready to go. Look at that. You got them all weighted down and nipped up. <laughs> And you did say, you know, Caleb, I think um, you said a, a short while ago that you put yours in the fridge immediately. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like two of them in the fridge and leave one of them out to see if they ferment at different speeds. Sure. But what I recommend, though, is that whether you're leaving it out or putting them in, um, put them in some sort of container or like on a plate or something underneath it just in case it goes crazy fermenting and spills over because i have had that happen okay okay well, you definitely have more experience with pickling and fermentation than i do well maybe i could teach you a thing well that's why you. i'm here oh okay all right yeah well we'll do kimchi my way next time all right double all right. down on kimchi yep kimchi that makes exciting television <laughs> <laughs> I did have a thought We're for, for like a, do a doubling down thing yeah. is we could do dueling gumbos because I have a way, a, new, a way that I have learned mm -hmm. to make roux yeah. that you're not going to believe. Well, I can't wait to see it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh -huh. anyway, <clears throat> now we're going to leave these for a couple of days and because it's going to be through the miracle of YouTube that... Um, <laughs> We come back and taste these when they're ready. So we'll just say goodbye for now. Say goodbye to these guys and we'll come back and see them on another day. So this is the kimchi that was left on the counter on day two and a half or three. We made the kimchi on Saturday. Today is Monday and as you can see, it's got some spillage that come out of the top and I just opened it and if I give it a little movement, you might be able to see the bubbles. I saw them a minute ago. Let's see, some bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. There you go. Hey everybody, it's been one week since we made our kimchi and left them out to ferment. This was the one I left on the counter. I put these two in the fridge. Today's the day we're going to taste them and I have a special guest to help me with that. Another special guest and I'd like to welcome that guest right now. Hello! <laughs> this is my lovely daughter Stephanie and she's going to help me taste the kimchi. Say hi Steph. Hi Stephanie! <laughs> Let's try this one first. Okay. The one that was out the whole time, okay? Okay. The uh, counter kimchi. The counter kimchi, exactly. So here's my pickle pipe is off. I'll take out my fermenting weight. And get a good sniff. You want a good sniff? Oh yeah, we gotta get a good I can smell it from here. A good snort. I mean, it. it's definitely powerful. Powerful. Mm, okay. Oh yeah. Let's put this over here and I'll let you do the honors of okay. the first bite. All right. My favorite part of this style of kimchi when you and Caleb made it are these little radish discs that are in here. They almost remind me of water chestnuts. The red radish. The red radish. Exactly. So I'm going to try to get... That's one. Yes. Get one of those to start. And then a little piece of the cabbage itself. Here we go. Here we go. All right, moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Mm. Mm. Powerful. Is it? Oh, yeah. Hot? Uh, yes, but um, 
front of the tongue, not overpoweringly hot. Oh, oh baby, baby. Ooh, mmm, oh man. And it has like the, the fizziness, the effervescence of the fermentation. Ooh, so good. Oh, and the veg is still so crunchy and yet, mmm. As you bite into them, like they like squirt out all the kimchi juice. It's not overly uh, vinegary. Like it's not like hot vinegar. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Well, the count counter's a winner. Counter's a winner for counter, now. Let's counter. see. Uh, all right, let's see how we do with the fridge kimchi. Okay. The fridge kimchi. All right. Cold kimchi. It's well, it's not cold because it's been out for a day. Oh well, that's right. So, and this will be even better when it's cold, I think. I mean, store it cold for a pickle a pipe. Pickle pipe. Off. See how full that is? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. One of the two of these did all the leaking. Take out my weight. Once again, I will let you do the honors. Okay, here we go. All right. Ooh. And yes, we're double dipping, but we're all family, so that's right. That's the way we do it. And yeah, she's sticking her nose in it, but... Well, this one has like a more, um, okay. Oh, man, I, it almost... Okay, the, the notes I'm getting, honestly, think apple and think wine. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What could that possibly be? I don't know, because it's all the same thing. It's all the same. Except all right. this fermented faster. The counter one fermented faster? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. Much milder. Per in my opinion. Don't let me color yours. I've, I should have waited. Not nearly as pungent. Mm -mm. But still pungent, mm -hmm. but like much more subtle. I got a piece of that daikon too. That's good stuff. Mm. There's also like a like a follow behind note on this one. That's I feel like maybe it's either like it's more like fruity. I, I said apple right before, but it feels maybe a little fruitier on the back end. Maybe because it is slightly more mild, I'm tasting a little bit more of that complexity. It's like still later good though. In the it's oh all yeah, good. heck all yeah, good. it is. And it's like I won't say my mouth is on fire right now, but it is lit up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like the heat. I, this could be 10 times hotter for me and I would be like, oh, that's the sweet spot. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, do. oh, 10 times hotter. Okay. <laughs> yes. Challenge accepted. Try not, please. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I mean, if you eat enough of that, yeah, it's going to linger. It's certainly lingering. Yeah. Uh, but it's not like blow your top no, off. No, no. Uh, I think what I'm going to do though, now I'm going to give you a choice of which one of these you want to go home with. I have to say, probably, I would probably pick that one because Caleb, he is the heat meister and the stank meister. Uh, so we like it extra funky and extra hot. Oh my, okay. So of the two, this one kind of speaks to me a little bit more, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and these it, it feels like, fermented. Yeah. It, it has more the fizziness of yes, this one. Yes, exactly. That's probably what is drawing me to it. This yeah. one worked harder. So these, I'll just leave these guys out on the counter yeah, for a couple more days. Yeah, just let them days. get to this. Let you them know, get down to that. The, the so uh, a week on the counter, maybe 10 days? Or a week in the fridge? A week in the fridge. Three or four days on the counter. Yeah. You know, because it was fermenting some in the fridge, just not near as fast as this one. Yep. All right. So, yeah, that's the lesson here is like, you want it done quickly and also great. Right. Leave it out. Leave it out. Leave it out. Leave it just out. let it sit. Don't baby it. Don't baby it in the fridge. No. It doesn't need to be chilled. No. It just needs to, you know, it needs to go needs through to the, the mean streets of the counter. It needs to hang. That's right. Hang Get with the... Get and sour and salty. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> that's right. Oh, well. Now, what do you pair kimchi with? Rice. Yum. Yum. Can you just eat it on its own like oh, we just did? I totally do Just that. eat the whole I do jar? That. I'll have that for lunch. I'll have like, you know, a couple inches of kimchi for lunch. <laughs> What'd you have for lunch? An inch, two kimchi, two fingies. <laughs> two fingies, <and> kimchi. 
um, but it goes good on rice. It, it's like a side. Um, in, in Korean uh, meals, they call it the banchan, which is like the little side dishes. Yeah. And so they would pair it with soup. They would pair it with a, you know, a noodle dish, anything really. It's like a, just like a pickle, mm. you know, that you have on the side. Yeah. So put it on a sandwich. You could put it on a sandwich. We had where we had a was it a grilled cheese with kimchi on it at Knox Mason? Oh man. No, it was that place down on Jackson Avenue. Curious dog? I think so. Oh man. Yeah, it was good on pumpernickel bread. It was delicious. That's like extra funky bread, extra funky kimchi. And cheese. Cheese. Everything's better with Funko. cheese. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for helping me. You're welcome. Taste this. My pleasure. And uh, everybody, thanks for spending the time with us. Uh, you've actually been spending a week, but it only seems like 35 minutes to y'all. That's the magic of YouTube. That's the magic of YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, tell all your friends, and we'll see you on the next video.